Let's play a game. See if you can guess what toy this is. All right, here's a question for you guys. How many of you, when you're looking at listings on Marketplace, eBay, you find yourself correcting the listings in your head? I just saw one and it... I'll, I'll read out... I'm not, I'm not going to show you the listing because I'm going to read out the listing to you. See if you can guess what this is. Disney Light Up Cinderella Castle with figurines, 90s Expendable. Expendable original 90s Disney Cinderella Castle features sparkly horse and carriage. Six original figurines includes three variations of Cinderella, Stepmother, Fairy Godmother, and One Stepsister, Missing a Prince and the Other Sister, Movable Clock Hands, Extendable Disney Fireworks. I'm built inbuilt, I am built holes. I'm guessing inbuilt holes for characters to stay in place. That's your hint. Two AA batteries lighted up with on-off switch, back drawer to store, back drawer to store figurines, little secret doors for imaginative play including dancing, dance turn table. What do you reckon it is? It's missing two keywords. Any guesses? Any guesses? Any guesses? Let me know if you want me to, re you want me to read it again. Good old impromptu trivia. And if some of you are staring at the monitor through, through the stream, trying to figure out what it is on that angle, good luck. <laughs> some people guessing house. Any ideas? All right, I'll read it again. Matilda wants to guess. Disney light up, Disney light up Cinderella castle with figurines, nineties, expendable. All right, that's one hint. And then description: nineties expendable original Disney Cinderella castle features sparkly horse and carriage. Six original figurines includes three variations of Cinderella: stepmother, fairy godmother, and one stepsister. Missing a prince and the other sister. Movable clock hands, extendable Disney fireworks, inbuilt holes for characters to stay in place, two AA batteries light up, and with on off switch, back drawer to store figurines, little secret doors for imaginative play, including dance turntable. Doll's house, yep, we're getting pretty close. Nope, not a nightlight. Doll's house, that's, that's the closest we've gotten so far. I'm overwhelmed by the info. See? <laughs> so much information, but still missing like the two keywords that will allow them to get the money that they want. Not a snow globe. Exp okay, expandable castle. I'll narrow it down for you, right? Expand expandable castle is the first. Expandable dollhouse is probably the, the best way to, to narrow it. So it's expandable. It has figurines that go into inbuilt holes. Around the premises. I'm staring at the camera in anticipation. Someone has to know it. Come on. We've got we've got a few doll sellers here. I reckon if Jody was here, she'd guess it. How many of you guys reckon you're better than Jody? <laughs> nope. Nope. Not a bit. Not a drawbridge. Not a moat. Expandable. Expand. Are the clues helping? Expandable Disney Castle with holes that the characters go in to hold them in place. Not Lego. And this whole time, we've still got Avalon's comment about living my best naked life on screen. <laughs> nope, not a carriage, not cardboard. Oh, man. What's going on? We'll put it on the screen. Expandable castle with holes for characters to stay in place. Not Disney Infinity. Because there isn't an expendable component to Disney Infinity. It's missing two keywords. Like literally, they, they want a hundred bucks for this. It's worth a hundred bucks, but they're not going to get the hundred bucks because they're not actually using the two keywords that they need to get the hundred bucks. Give another hint, okay? The figurines are this big. We're looking for two words. 
that the whole listing did not have. Polly Pocket! There we go, Rob. Rob's, Rob's, Rob's the winner. So in case you're wondering, that game happened during our Thursday listing live stream. I host one on the channel every Tuesday and Thursday, 9.30 p.m. AEST. That's Melbourne time. So obviously check your time zone if you want to join in. The aim of the session is to get as many listings done as possible for however long you're there. We generally go for about five hours. We do 30 minutes of listing, followed by 10 minutes of chat Q&A. That happened during the chat session. If the chat has nothing worth commenting on, we just move from one 30-minute listing session to another 30-minute listing session. Most people report that they see a 10 to 15% increase in sales because they're listing more regularly, and that's the point. If you're more consistent, having more activity in your account, you're going to see more sales. The algorithm favors stores that have activity because it means the store is open, people are working, and customers are more likely to have their orders shipped out in a timely manner. Isn't it interesting that the guys got the answer first before the girls? That's the that's surprising. But well done, boys. Well done. Polly Pocket. Literally described everything about a Polly Pocket without saying the word Polly Pocket. It's frustrating. Let's educate um Tom on what the fuck Polly Pocket is. <laughs> Says everything. Disney light up Cinderella castle with figurines. Expendable. Says expendable. Says bloody I'm built holes. Back draw the store figurines. So this is what a Polly Pocket looks like, Tom. Like a Mighty Max. Folds out, characters stay in place. Literally like like a like a Mighty Max. Like this, this stuff, this thing, eBay, easily, hundred bucks. But nope, no mention of Polly Pocket whatsoever. Like, <sighs> so there you go. Come join us, nine thirty Tuesday and Thursday, till late. I'll see you in the next session. Bye.